Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my kitchen. If you like great tasting, amazing finger licking Caribbean food, then I would suggest you subscribe to this channel. Today we are making the most delicious turkey and sauce, Haitian style. Everything will be linked for you in the description box as usual. Let's get right into this video. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna put some water in a pot and let that come to a boil. Now we're gonna clean our turkey. We have here three pounds of turkey neck and three pounds of turkey wings. And we're going to clean that with some salt. That's about one tablespoon of salt that I sprinkled over my raw turkey meat that is tall, okay, it's not frozen. And also I'm going to squeeze about two large limes. Okay, so it all depends on the amount of juice that you get. I use two large limes, but you may need more or less depending on how much turkey you're using. You just want to make sure you get enough juice so that you can mix it in well and that all of the turkey gets a little bit of that juice. After we mix the lime juice in our turkey, I usually let that sit for about five to 10 minutes. Then I bring my hot boiling water right over my turkey and then I give it a quick mix. After I give it a quick mix, I let that sit again for another five to 10 minutes and then we're going to drain all of that water out. After I drain all of that water out, I'm going to cut this section here off of all of my turkey wings. This is not something that you have to do. It's just something I prefer to do because I hate seeing this little, these little pieces on my turkey wings. They kind of look like fingers and they have hair on them. So I go ahead and I cut them all off. Again, you do not have to do that. It's not necessary. It's just a preference, but I like doing this. Okay, so this is how it looks here. Those are the pieces that I like to cut off. Now I'm going to marinate my turkey. I'm starting off with three tablespoons of my Haitian Ippies. Then I'm going to crush in one Maggi cube. This is the chicken flavor. And I'm crushing that very, very fine right over my meat. Now I'm using one packet of my Saison Goya. I love using this because it steams your meat and it really helps it to look so, so good. Now I'm going in with a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Although I'm not a person that like pepper, when it comes to certain meats, you have to put a little bit of pepper in there. It just needs it. Then we're going in with a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of black pepper, two pinches of ground clove, and then I'm going to use my garlic crusher here to crush in my garlic. I'm using four cloves of garlic. You just gotta add some fresh garlic to your meat. It just enhances the taste. Although your apes do have a lot of garlic, I like to always add additional garlic, especially fresh garlic. If you don't have fresh garlic, you can use the garlic powder, but of course using fresh garlic will definitely give you a richer flavor. Now we're going to mix everything in, make sure all of our meat is saturated in that seasoning. When it's all mixed in, we're going to move to the pot that we're gonna be cooking our turkey in, and I'm starting off with four tablespoons of olive oil. The turkey does run its own oil, but you have to put a little bit of oil to start off with because if you're not using a non-stick pot like I am here, it's going to definitely stick to your pot. So you wanna use some oil and then you wanna make sure that you spread the oil so that it coats the entire bottom of your pot. After my oil is heated up, I'm going to just pour in my turkey meat like you see that I'm doing here. You can see here our turkey looks so nice in color. That is all help to our Saison Goya. That's why I like using it. This is one cup of water that I'm putting in and I'm going to go ahead and put another cup of water. So I'm starting off with two cups of water. You don't want to start off with too much water because the turkey is going to run its own juice. Now I'm going in with a small tomato that I chopped up and this is my favorite part because 
I like to spread it around so that everything looks really, really nice and that it is just evenly distributed in the pan so that when it cooks, it just cooks all together. But honestly, no matter how you put it in, it's going to cook together. But I just like to make it look really pretty. So after I spread the tomatoes, I'm going to go in with my thyme and parsley. I put three sticks of thyme, three sticks of parsley. And again, I just spread it in the pot just so it cooks down as evenly as possible. Now I'm gonna cover my turkey and let that cook for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'm going to add in two more cups of water. Now, depending on your stove, my stove is on a medium high heat here. You may have to add water before 30 minutes. So you definitely want to watch it. And when the water is decreasing, you want to add in just two cups of water. Don't add more water. You want to add a little bit of water at a time so that you can preserve the good flavoring of the turkey. So this is after I added the two additional cups of water. I gave it a good stir. Make sure that you mix it at this point. That way you ensure that none of the turkey is stuck at the bottom of the pot. Now I'm gonna cover this up and let it cook for another 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, this is how it looks, okay? You see the turkey looks really, really nice. So now this is the part that's a little bit annoying, but trust me, if you do it like this, it's going to taste so damn good, okay? So you're gonna take your time and remove every piece of that meat, but you're just going to remove the meat piece by piece and put it aside. Not the liquid, just the meat, okay? And at this point, you can remove the sticks of thyme. You wanna be careful with turkey because if you cook it too much, it's going to break so much and it's gonna be so annoying. You definitely wanna watch when you're cooking it so you don't overcook it and it doesn't break. And you have to be careful of how you're handling it because if you handle it too roughly, it's is going to break okay your turkey is going to break and it's going to be a mess so now that I've removed all of my meat this is the liquid that's left what you're going to do is you're going to strain this liquid you just want the sauce you don't want all the pieces of tomato and everything else in there so I'm going to just put that in a strainer and I'm going to capture all of that liquid because that's what I need. And it's not enough liquid, I want a little bit more. So I'm just running about half a cup of water in my pot and mixing that. And then I'm going to just throw that down and strain it. So that way, you know, I'm not leaving anything in the pot and that water is going to have a little bit more flavor rather than me just adding in plain water. Now that we have our liquid, let's set that aside until we need it. Look how beautiful that liquid looks. So at this time, I'm going to just rinse out my pot. I don't really have to wash it because I'm gonna put the turkey right back in it. So I just rinse it out just so I start off with something clean. Now I'm gonna put in four tablespoons of olive oil and then I'm bringing in two tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm going to fry my tomato paste. The reason why I fry my tomato paste is because if I don't fry it, it gives the food an overpowering tomato taste flavor. So you always want to fry your tomato paste. You always want to fry your it piece before you put it in the food. It just makes the food taste so much better. The way you fry tomato paste, is you put some oil, you let that get hot, put the tomato paste like you see that I'm doing here. But in order to get that tomato paste to loosen up, you have to add a little bit of water at a time. So once it loosens up a little bit, you add a little bit of water and I'm speeding this part up here. You're mixing it, mixing it. You add a little bit more water, you mix it, mix it. You add a little bit more. It depends on how much tomato paste you're trying to loosen up. But you will know when to stop because it will look just like this. This is how you want your tomato paste to look. You want the tomato paste to basically turn like a tomato sauce. That's when you know that it's ready to use because it's completely loosened. So now that our tomato paste is loosened, I'm going to pour my turkey right in. Now, this is the most important part because this part is what gives flavor. We're going to woosie our turkey wings. So at this point, 
the stove is on a high heat. Then what you're going to do, right, is just put your turkey in and move it side to side. Move it side to side, just like you're seeing me do here. You let it sit, let it sit, let it pick up the heat, let it sit for about 30 seconds, and then you keep moving it side to side. Let it sit for 30 seconds or a minute, but I wouldn't even push it to a minute, about 30 to 45 seconds, you have to watch it because your meat could burn so quickly during this process. So you just move it side to side. The reason why I'm not giving it like a a heavy stir or heavy mix is because my turkey will break. Your turkey will definitely break. So you want to gently just move it from side to side. You can mix it slightly, but you have to be careful when you're mixing it. Now I'm going to add in my fresh vegetables, which are some bell peppers and onions that I cut up while I'm moussing it to give it more flavor. And now when you see that I'm mixing it, you can see that I'm going very light. I'm not giving it a heavy mix but it's really good to just keep going side to side and you can mix it a little bit but you have to kind of like fold it okay that's the right word you're mixing it but it's like you're folding it okay so you are not too rough on the turkey that way you don't get like a turkey that's completely completely like broken you can see here that I'm taking a piece of turkey because I can't wait this thing is so good guys I literally make this every single week at least once a week that's how good this dish is okay now i'm pouring in the liquid that i had set aside and i'm going to fo kindly fold it in and it's okay if the bottom of the pot gets a little darker that's just from the wussy and that's completely fine that's why i'm saying you have to watch it so it doesn't burn because it could burn quickly once you put your liquid in bring that heat back down to a medium this is not enough liquid for me because I like to eat my turkey with bunan, which is plantain, and I also eat it with rice. So because I'm gonna eat it with bunan, I wanna have more sauce. So I'm going in with another cup of water. So it all depends on how much liquid you need. If you're gonna eat this with some plantain or some fig or a yam or whatever, you definitely wanna have some liquid in there because it just makes it so much better. So after I put the extra cup and I kind of mix it just a little bit or kind of fold it in, I'm going in with a tablespoon of butter because you know, honey, you gotta seal the deal with butter. And after I put that butter in, give it a little kind of like shake, <laughs> then I'm going to cover that up. Actually, no, before I cover it up, I'm going to taste it. That's important because whenever you're adding more water to your food, you want to taste it because it's taken away from the taste. And when I taste this, I realize that it it was good, but it needed something. It was missing a little kick because of the water. So I went ahead and grabbed my seasoned salt and I added about a quarter teaspoon of seasoned salt, which I'm doing here. And after I added that quarter teaspoon of seasoned salt and gave it a little stir again, honey, baby, honey, this was everything, okay? That's all it needed. Just needed a little seasoned salt, okay? More water took away from that flavoring because honey, I love myself some flavoring. <laughs> So after I added that seasoned salt and I gave it a, a really good mix, I taste it again and mm, 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 mm. this is perfect, perfect, okay? So now I'm going to cover this up and let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, okay? After 15 to 20 minutes, and this is on the medium, this is what it looks like at the end, guys. I let this cool down before I showed you guys because I wanted you guys to see what it looks like because when the steam is really, really high, it's kind of hard for you guys to see what it looks like. But this is how the turkey should look like, okay? So now I'm adding in my fresh onions. I love to add some fresher onions on top because, you know, I don't want all my onions to be super, super soft. And now I'm giving it a good stir. And that is pretty much it, guys. That is how I make my turkey and sauce. Like I said, I make this dish, 
at least once a week. It is so delicious. It's so good and so easy to make. So thank you for kicking it here in the kitchen with me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I enjoyed bringing it for you. Definitely give it a try. Let me know in the comment section, how do you make your turkey? If you do something different, if you try this recipe, definitely come back and let me know, guys. I love hearing from you guys and I love hearing like if my videos are helping you or you know if it didn't work for you let me know because your comment can also help another viewer again thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you're notified every time i drop another bomb caribbean recipe bon appetit